Well, welcome everybody. So uh, we've been practicing the, uh, let's see, past simple and present perfect. And even though it's called present perfect, uh, really it's used to describe things that happened in the past, right? And today we're going to talk about a, another way to talk about the otra manera de hablar pasado. Uh, pero esta no es como, esta se va a usar la, la, la frase used to. Y cada vez que usamos estas diferentes palabras, right? Every time we use these different words, it's just a little different. Um, we, we, we mean something that's a little different. So pasado simple, right? Por ejemplo, I lived in Washington, right? I lived in Washington. Yo vivía en el estado de Washington, right? So eso pasó en el pasado, right? Pasó antes, right? It, it was in the past. Y entiendo que ya no vivo ahí, right? El asunto que puedo mirar, lo que la extra información que viene con el past simple es que ya terminó esa acción. Ya no vivo en Washington. I, that action finished and I no longer live in Washington. We use present perfect para describir, to describe something that happened in the past and continues happening or has some relevance to what's currently happening. So, para describir algo que, que pasó pero sigue ocurriendo o que tiene un significado, algo lo que está ocurriendo en este momento. Right? So, I have been living in Texas uh, for the last 20, 30, 34 years, right? So, ha vivido en Texas por los últimos 34 años. Otra vez, en un momento de mi vida, vine para Texas, right? Uh, podemos hacer el asunto que vivía en Washington, me moví para Texas y sigo viviendo en Texas, right? I used to live, or I lived in Washington, and then I, uh, I moved to Texas, and I still live in Texas, right? Now, we have this form, used to, a, apenas me escucharon usarlo, right? I, I just used it. Um, but used to also talks about the past, right? So, por ejemplo, uh, Antes vivía en Washington, right? I used to live in Washington, right? Pero eso es el mismo significado de lived. I lived in Washington. En, en este caso, esas dos frases significan lo mismo, right? They mean the same thing. So why would we use used to, right? Pues, cuando usamos past simple, Unas veces la extra información, lo que alguien va a entender de lo que nosotros decimos, what someone is going to understand is that the action occurred one time, right? Que esa acción ocurrió una vez. Por ejemplo, I played basketball, right? Or I played soccer. I played soccer is yo jugué a football, right? But in English, se entiende como hiciste esa cosa una vez. Una vez en el pasado, jugaste soccer, right? Or if you say, I have played soccer, otra vez, es como teniste esa experiencia en un momento de tu vida, pero quién sabe cuándo ocurrió. So I have played soccer. Oh, you, have you played soccer? Yes, I've played soccer. Or I played soccer. Okay. One time. Así no se entiende. Así no se escuche cuando yo, si alguien me dice eso, if someone tells me I played soccer, it kind of sounds like they did it one time, or at least like, I don't really know, right? So in that case, I would say used to, if I want to sort of, 
have them understand que lo hacía por mucho tiempo. So esa, esa acción ocurrió sobre mucho tiempo, pero todo ese tiempo está en el pasado, ya terminó y, y, y no sigue ocurriendo, right? So, I played soccer kind of makes it sound like you did it one time. I used to play soccer makes it sound like, oh, okay, maybe he did it like regularly or escucha como lo hiciste regularmente. Maybe you played it in high school for a team. Maybe you played it in college. Maybe you were a professional soccer player. But what I understand is that that action was for a significant amount of time. Y a mejor me vas a explicar, maybe you're going to explain to me why you're no longer playing soccer, right? Oh, I used to play soccer, but I hurt my knee, right? So um, I played soccer, but I hurt my knee. Makes it sound like, right? Se escucha como lo jugaste una vez y adentro de esa vez que lo jugaste, te agarraste un herida, right? You hurt your knee. Right? Te lastimaste tu rodilla. Um, and so we use used to to show, oh, okay, a significant amount of time. I used to be a high school teacher. Antes sería un maestro en la high school. Right? Now I am a, a teacher in adult education. And I have been for four years. So otra vez, antes sería un maestro en la escuela de high school, pero... Hoy soy un maestro y ahí ha sido un maestro por cuatro años. Right? So in Espanol, in, in Spanish, you can see the different uses of the verb, right? Podemos mirar las diferentes usos de los verbos que escogimos, escogemos para a dar significados como en el, el momento donde están ocurriendo. Para que alguien pueda seguir esa línea de tiempo, right? We give those verbs or we use those verbs so that people can understand the timeline of things that are occurring. The more complex verbs that we use, uh, the more people are going to understand the timeline of events. The less ambiguous our description of time will be, right? Lo, lo menos ambiguo. Right, que nuestra descripción del tiempo, de esa línea de tiempo va a ser. Por eso queremos um, usar, agregar diferentes palabras para que alguien pueda entender poco, un poco más uh, de lo que estamos describiendo, right? So someone can understand just a little bit more about what we're describing. And you can use words like yet, always, never, um, Right, to, to do the same thing, para, para, para hacer la misma cosa. Nomás agregarle un poquito más información para que podamos entender más de lo que estamos uh, describiendo. Right? So we use used to plus the base form of the verb. So uh, ya, conjuga, right? we, ya conjugamos la palabra used, right? porque le agregamos el, el ed. Right? So no necesitamos conjugar la segunda verbo. Lo usamos en, en forma básica. Right? We use the base form of the verb. When we talk about situations, right? Situaciones o hábitos. Right? Y esa es la más importante porque situaciones lo podemos describir con past simple. We can describe situations that occurred one time with past simple. But If we use past simple to describe habits or cosas que ocurrieron, ocurrieron seguidos, then we make it more ambiguous. Lo, lo hacemos más ambiguo. A mejor alguien no va a entender exactamente si ocurrió una vez o si había una cosa que ocurrió seguido. Right? They're not going to understand whether that thing happened one time or if it happened over several Um, months or days or weeks or years, decades even, right? But 
are no longer true. So eso es verdad de past simple y pues usando used to. Que entendemos que ya no ocurre esa acción. We know from past simple and using used to that those things do not occur at the moment. They used to live in Los Angeles, right? They don't live in Los Angeles anymore. Es que ya no viven in Los Angeles, right? So here we have an example of where we could use past simple. They lived in Los Angeles. Ellos vivieron en Los Angeles otra vez. Entendemos que ya no viven in Los Angeles, right? Uh, the same thing with they used to live in Los Angeles. We know that they don't live in Los Angeles anymore. He used to play basketball. Right? Antes él jugaba basketball. He doesn't play basketball anymore. Pues ya no juega, pero entiendo que él jugaba el deporte de basketball. If I say he played basketball, okay, a mejor entiende que que antes jugaba va, va a depender mucho en el contexto de lo que estamos hablando. It's, it's going to really depend on the context of what we're talking about. But think of it this way. If I say, oh, where is Gerardo? Or where was Gerardo yesterday? He was at the park. Okay. Pues estoy hablando de ayer, so es una... Una corriencia de eso, lo que pasó. What did he do? What did he do? ¿Qué hizo? Oh, he played basketball. Right? He played basketball. Ahí estoy describiendo algo que hizo en el pasado entre esta cosa que hizo, que es que fui pal, fue para el parque Gerardo y jugó basketball. Se entiende que lo ocurrió una vez adentro de ese tiempo. I wouldn't say... He used to play basketball because that gives the automatic, right, understanding, that entendido automáticamente que es algo que ocurrió sobre mucho tiempo, right? So I wouldn't say he used to play basketball. Like, what? They're going to be like, okay, he used to play basketball, but what did he do yesterday at the park? Okay, entiendo que antes jugaba basketball, pero ¿qué hizo ayer, right? Porque otra vez. El significado de past simple se escucha como está describiendo un momento. Y por eso queremos usar used to si estamos describiendo algo o describiendo algo que pasó sobre mucho tiempo. Right? He used to play basketball. Oh, sí, en equipo. Right? Oh, when he was in high school or college. Right? So voy a buscar el, el tiempo. Right? Okay, so we're going to look at some examples. Does anyone have any questions? Right. Uh, ¿Alguien tiene unas preguntas sobre eso o estamos claros? Okay. Estamos claros. Good. Thank you, Elsa. Gracias. <laughs> so, we're going to look at some examples, right? Used to. And here we're just going to, to use these words. So, where, sing, read, live, work, perform, speak and go. Those are our verbs, right? Our main verbs. But the, the blank, what we type into the box or what I'm going to type, what you guys are going to write, is used to and then the verb that we need to use. So va a ser un frase. So no vas a poner where or war. No vas a poner sing or sung. Red, right? read and read are the same word. You just pronounce it differently. Lived, you're going to say, like for instance, we'll use the first one as an example. When I was a little boy, so otra vez, estamos hablando del pasado. We, and then you could say, lived in a very small apartment, but I want you to write, or Burlington English wants you to write, used to live in a very small apartment. So we used to live in a very small apartment, right? And so you're going to read uh, the rest of the paragraph and then use used to 
uh, to fill it out. I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes uh, to work on it, and then you know you can just, as always, if you're new to the uh, class, new to the channel, <laughs> you should have a, a piece of paper with you so that you can practice writing. Um, I know some of you may be like, well, yeah, but I can just read it, right? No más lo puedo leer y entender. Pero como lo más práctica, pues también estás, puedes practicar poquito de, de escribir. Si lo quieres hacer un poquito más uh, difícil, ganar un poquito más práctica, trata de no estar copiando las letras. A que sí, trata de no más leerlo, pones esa idea en tu mente y entonces transcribirlo mientras lo estás repitiendo. So, we didn't have a lot of money. So, we didn't have a lot of money, right? Which is going to be a little bit harder than just we didn't have, right? So again, I'm going to give you a couple of minutes. I'm going to put that on the, the timer. And you guys are just going to be writing out the, the questions or, or writing out the, the statements, right? The sentences and then filling them in. Right. Uh, yo no lo voy a poder escribir porque en este momento estoy manejando <laughs> el lunch en mi esposo, pero si me los manda y luego los paso yo, por favor. Yes, no, no problem, Elsa. That is, it's probably okay, safe not to be <laughs> yes, writing them down. Mi video. <laughs> está bien, está bien. Está bien. Okay. No, no, es perfectamente bien. And, um, acuérdense, Uh, esto va a estar subido en YouTube, so cuando quieren hacer los, uh, los, uh, los, las, eh, uh, I don't know how to say it, the exercises again, los ejercicios otra vez. Ejercicios. Sí, ejercicios. Uh, los pueden hacer uh, cuando tienen tiempo, so no se preocupen. Y si quieren escucharme uh, dar la explicación otra vez, pues está bien, va a estar en YouTube. Um, but yeah. Okay, we have about 15 more seconds, so just go ahead and uh, and finish up, and uh, and we'll start uh, discussing those things. Okay. All right, and go ahead and finish up. So we'll read the next one. Does someone want to volunteer and? Uh, Read the uh, the next one for us. Just go ahead and un unmute yourself, and then uh, uh, me. All right, good, Joanna. Go ahead and read the next sentence. We didn't have a lot of money, so I used to wear my brother's old clothes. Good, 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 right? We didn't have a lot of money, so I used to wear my brother's old clothes. So we use wear, right? Good. Thank you, Joanna. Okay. I didn't like that at all, right? So no me gustó eso para nada. <laughs> uh, Luz, yes. the next one. My parents didn't know English, so we used to speak Spanish at home. Good. I forgot to write Joanna's answer and Luz. Use to speak. speak right? Spanish at home. Good. My parents didn't know English, so we used to speak Spanish at home. Antes hablábamos español en la casa. All right. Angelica, do you want to read the next one? We didn't watch a lot of TV when I was little. Good. We didn't watch a lot of TV when I was little. Little. We used to go to the library every week with my mother. Good. We used to go to the library every week with my mother. So, otra vez, eso describe algo que ocurrió en el pasado y seguía, right, ocurriendo. Si nos, nomás usamos el pasado simple. We went to the library. My mother 
It doesn't sound, it doesn't sound great, right? Es como se, se escucha, alguien va a comenzar a entender que lo hiciste una vez, right? All right, Irasema, do you want to read the next one? Sí, um, I used to uh, read the books uh, a week, three books a week. Good, good, good. I used to read three, three books, books a week. week. So, uh, like I said, from what I understand from that, es una acción que ocurrió sobre varias semanas. Right? Thank you, Irasema. Right, Yolanda? Right. Okay. My parents and my brother sing very well. So, we used to sing together. Awesome. Used to sing together, right? My parents and my brothers sing very well, right? Mi uh, pa padres y mi hermanos cantan muy bien. Y so, un Juntos, um, I forgot the word for sing. Cantábamos. Yeah. Cantan muy bien. So antes cantábamos juntos. When I was a 14-year-old, I saw a great band singing on stage. Right? Cuando estaba 14, miré un, una banda uh, muy famosa, a lo mejor, muy buena, right? cantando. I wanted to be a singer too. Quería ser un cantante también. So I worked very hard. I trabajé muy fuerte, or muy duro. Okay. And uh, let's have someone else. Anyone else? Thank you, Yolanda. Rita. Rita, all right. Excellent. Yes. And you said to work at a supermarket during the week to make money. All right, so I used to work at a supermarket during the week to make money, right? So antes trabajaba durante la semana en un supermercado para, para hacer dinero, right? Good, thank you, Rita. Next, someone else? No English, guys. <laughs> okay. And on the weekends, I used to perform. Good. Right? And on the weekends, I used to perform at clubs. Y en las, en los fin, sobre los fines de semana, um, cantaba, right, en los clubs. Right. right. Thank you, Elsa. Today, I'm a singer in the band. Hoy, soy un cantante in una banda. All right, so thank you very much, everyone who helped. And so, yeah, so, otra vez, right? Ahí podemos notar varias diferentes tiempos que usaron pasado simple, presente, perfecto, right? present perfect, and then used to. Y cada de esas diferentes sería porque querían que entendías algo un poquito más a específico de la situación que estaba ocurriendo, right? So, otra vez, used to say, se escucha más como el accionería seguido. Okay, we'll go to grammar two. Let's see what time is it. All right, we have plenty of time. So, I believe grammar two is the, the same rule, right? So, used to, right? Same thing. We're just working with uh, different things. So, Again, I'm going to give you about uh, two minutes to work on this, but we'll do the first one together. So, I used to be married to Victoria. All right, we don't know what happened there, but antes estaba casado con una persona que se llamaba Victoria. And then we're going to look on the answers for algo que es par con esto. So, si estamos hablando que antes estaba casado, pues podemos que entender que ya no está, right? ya terminó esa acción, so estamos buscando para algo donde se terminó esa acción, right, but now I have a day job, I went on a diet, wear suits to work, we got divorced, right, so uh, divorce significa que ya terminó, right, 
esa relación. Y, so we used to be uh, married to Victoria, but we got divorced. Esperamos que todavía son buenos amigos, no sé, right? And, uh, and yeah, so you'll do the, the rest of them on your own, and I'll give you another two minutes. Elsa, if you can't see the screen, I'll, I'll read them out loud and you can kind of just do it in your head. Every day. So the next one is, uh, I used to smoke, puedes inventar la razón, porque ya no fuma. I used to, <laughs> I used to live near my mother. Manda? I quit last year. Yes. Oh, don't, don't give, don't give the answers. <laughs> don't give the answers. Ya estamos trabajando, pero... Si no más okay. piensas, right? Okay. Uh, I used to live near my mother. I used to work out every day. I used to wear jeans all the time. I used to weigh 175 pounds. I used to work at night. And I used to eat only healthy food. So about another minute, and you guys can just write down the answers to those questions. Let's see, anyone new? Oh, hola Marisela. Okay, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> good morning. So I seem to be... All right, we'll give another 10 seconds and then we'll uh, we'll start going over the answers. Okay. So this one, uh, I'm just gonna do it so that we can get to the reading section because we only have about uh, 10 minutes after this. And I know some of you have class at 12, so uh, let's do the first one. You can just kind of do it on your own and, and I'm just gonna give the answer. So, I used to smoke, but as Elsa said, but I quit last year. And this actually shows something uh, that I was talking about earlier, right? As uh, enseña algo que, que estaba hablando uh, earlier in the video, right? Que es que unas veces cuando usamos used to, espero la razón, right? Or I might be... The reason I do it is because I'm going to give an explanation for why I no longer do it or why it's no longer occurring. Right? Voy a dar una razón o explicación por qué eso ya no ocurre, por qué ya no lo hago. Right? So I used to smoke, but I quit last year. Right? Different than I smoked. I smoked, escucha como otra vez, es ocurrió una vez, como oh, una vez fumé, right, no, antes fumaba, right? do you see the difference there? I used to live near my mother, right, but I moved to Chicago four years ago, pero me moví a Chicago cuatro años, right, desde cuatro años, right? I used to work out every day, antes hacía ejercicios, right? cada día, but I have, oh no, whoops, I can't now because I broke my leg, right? So antes, right, hacía ejercicios todo el día, pero hoy no puede porque, right, lastimó su pierna. I used to wear jeans all the time, but now I wear suits to work. I used to weigh 175 pounds, but I went on a diet and I lost weight. I would be lucky to weigh 175 pounds, so I don't understand why this person needs to lose so much weight. Uh, I used to work at night, but now, I have a day job. Right. Pero ahora trabajo durante el día. And I used to eat only healthy food, but I eat a lot of junk food now. 
So, right. Again, those are all things. Todos esos son cosas que ocurrió, ocurrieron sobre un pasado de tiempo que ya no ocurran. Y agregamos used to también porque les vamos a dar la razón que ya no ocurre eso. Okay. All right, and then we're going to get to the reading passage. And we're going to let that load up. And uh, something I want you guys to kind of, um, like, kind of always be cognizant of, right? Cognizant is, well, I don't know how to say it in Spanish, but siempre pensando if this thing loads. All right, I think my Burlington English froze, so that's fantastic. <laughs> Uh, we'll give it some time to try to recover that. I'll restart it. So some of the things that I want you to, to be thinking about when we're reading uh, is when are they using past simple? When are they using present perfect? If they use present perfect. And when are they using used to? And maybe think about why. Right? Why are they using used to? Why are they using present perfect? Why are they using just simple past tense? Right? Porque otra vez, um, la ventaja, o la aventaja, the advantage, we get when we're using Spanish, or at least you guys might get, because I still struggle with my verbs in Spanish, es que no pensamos mucho en los, lo, la el conjugación de las palabras. Automáticamente, Entendemos lo que debemos de usar o lo que queremos, queremos que la persona entiende y solo hacemos automáticamente, right? Pero como estamos aprendiendo una nueva idioma, like, because you're learning a new English, then you have to be thinking about why you use. Oh, okay. I got disconnected from my internet. That's the, the problem. Well, it doesn't look like I got disconnected. There we go. Um, necesitamos estar pensando por qué, right? We need to be thinking about why we're using these. So, be careful what you wish for, right? That's the title. I'm going to read it first, and then we'll, 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 we'll discuss it. So, be careful what you wish for. And if you want to, go ahead and read it with me, right? Um, my name is Ralph. Three years ago, I won $24 million in the lottery. It changed my life completely and not for the better. I used to have many good friends. We used to play basketball and go to the beach in the summer. But after I became a millionaire, they all suddenly wanted something from me. Then I made new friends, but they only liked me because I was rich. I didn't enjoy being with them either. Now I have no friends and I am very sad and lonely. I have a big house with a swimming pool and a gym, but I never work out. I used to be thin, but, I look, at, but look at me today. I weigh over 200 pounds. And that's not all. My wife and I used to be very happy. We did everything together. We used to go to the movies and go out to dinner all the time. She was my best friend. Now we're divorced. She won't even speak to me anymore. I won the lottery and it ruined my life. Right? So that was a very sad story. Uh, but again, we're mainly focused on the examples of past. Porque todo es en el pasado. Pero, right, estamos hablando de, de, de la diferencia de, de simple and used to. ¿Por qué? Right, so, my name is Ralph, mi nombre es Ralph. Right, tres años, right. Des, ¿Antes o después? Después. <laughs> I won $24 million in the lottery. Cambió mi vida completamente, right. It changed my life. So, that's. Past simple, right? Porque cuántas veces ganó la lotería? Una vez. And en esa una vez que lo ganó, cambió su vida. Ocurrió una vez, right? So that's why they use past simple in that sentence. And not for better. Y no me mejoró, right? 
I used to have many good friends. Antes tenía muchos amigos buenos o am amistades buenas, right? Used to es porque antes lo tenía, pero por mucho tiempo tenía esos amigos buenos, right? So I had good friends es como tenía buenos amigos y se otra vez se entiende como pues en, en realidad se terminó sus amistades pero no en este momento todavía no sabemos que se terminó esas amistades right so as of this point we didn't know that those that friendship ended so we say I used to have many good friends para que podamos entender que antes tenía muchos amigos buenos y a mejor los va a dar la razón. We used to play basketball. So antes jugábamos basketball. We played basketball. Es como él y sus amigos jugaron basketball en un momento. That doesn't make any sense. Antes tenía estos amigos y antes ellos jugaban basketball frecuentemente. Which is why they, he uses used to. And go to the beach in the summer. Otra vez, pues nomás para, para, para entender algo. Como usó used to una vez, y entonces va a ser una lista de cosas que va a hacer, no necesita seguir usando used to. Right? Lo usa una vez, y entonces lo que sigas, entendemos que va con el used to. Right? So, antes jugaba basketball y fui a, fui a para la playa durante el verano. But after I became a millionaire, otra vez, eso es past uh, simple, they all suddenly wanted something from me. Then I made new friends, entonces hice nuevos amigos, pero ellos no más, right, les me gustaban, o lo, me, they liked me, right? Le, me. See, that's an example of a, a verb that's very hard to do. Right? They only liked me, nomás me, me gustaron porque era rico, right? Or tenía mucho dinero, right? They only liked me, so, right? Past simple. I didn't enjoy being with them. No me gustó, right? Estando con ellos, right? O, o, o estar pasando el tiempo con ellos. Now, I have no friends. Ahora, o en este momento, no tengo ni un amigo, right? So that's present, right? And I'm very sad and lonely. I have a big house and a swimming pool and a gym, right? Presente otra vez, but I never work out. I used to be thin. Antes, por un, por un tiempo, estaba flaco, pero pues eso ya no. Es verdad. Right? Ahora right? pesa más de 200 libras. And that's not all. My wife and I used to be very happy. We did everything together. We used to go to the movies. Antes fuimos para las películas. And go out to dinner all the time. Y fuimos a comer todos los tiempos. Y haría mi, mi, mi amiga más buena o mejor amiga. Right? She was my best friend. Right? Now we're divorced. We won't even, she won't even speak to me anymore. So ahora están divorciadas y ya no hable, habla con él. I won the lottery and it ruined my life. Okay, so we're going to do exercise one. I'm going to show exercise one. I'm going to give you a little bit of time porque ya son las 12. Ya sé que ustedes, unos de ustedes necesitan irse. A lo mejor van a comenzar clases. Um, but yeah, we're going to do exercise one real quick, otra vez. Si quieren, pueden en este momento, um, si están mirando el video, right? Uh, pause, I do a pause and then do the exercises and then work it out. So, Ralph has many friends, right? And we have a choice between true in the past or true today. So, estamos hablando de, de escuchando esta oración, Ralph has many friends. ¿Qué describe? 
algo que, que estaba verdad en el pasado o que sigue siendo verdad. En este caso sabemos que antes tenía muchos, muchos amigos, pero en este momento ya no tiene esos amigos. Right? So, ¿qué vamos a, a escoger? True in the past. Es, da, es verdad, pero en el pasado. Estamos hablando del pasado. Right? Ralph is sad. Right? And our cho choices are again. True in the past or true today. Right? Ralph is sad. Describe el momento. Right? Este momento es verdad. Right? True today. Antes sería feliz, used to be happy, but ahorita está sad. Ralph plays basketball with his friends. That true in the past or true today? Otra vez, he used to play, so it's true in the past. Ralph goes to the beach. Again, true in the past, true today. But it's possible que Juega porque está allá para pa, pa, pa la playa, pero vamos a decir que es right, verdad del pasado. Ralph's wife is his best friend. So, otra vez, eso es describiendo algo que ocurre ahorita. ¿Está ocurriendo ahorita? No. That was true in the past. Ya no son amigos. Ralph is divorced. That is true today. Desde este momento está divorciado. Right? He is divorced. And we'll do exercise two. So now, Ralph's life is blank than it was before he won the lottery. So necesitamos una palabra que describe right, su vida en este momento. Right? Now. Now. Good, worse, or better. Good, worse, or better. Va a ser worse. Right? Ya su vida es, es, no es bien, no es bueno. Right? Ocurrió muchas cosas, lo hicieron muy triste, y, y su vida no es mejor. Right? It's not better. His life is not better. So, we're actually going to end it there. Vamos a terminar. Uh, nuestro video hay. So, uh, si quieren, pueden uh, escribir. Yo sé que os, ahorita no pueden mirar las palabras, pero lo, lo, lo hice, right? Porque, right, pueden hacer esto en, en Burlington English. Uh, ustedes tienen acceso a Burlington English, pero pueden hacer ahí. O, um, nomás escriben las palabras que piensan uh, que caben, porque hay muchas palabras que podemos usar. Um, um, so, sí, so pueden hacer eso sí, y, y nomás escribir lo que piensan y entonces a lo mejor el, el next Wednesday podemos dar el repaso a estos. Ok? All right, uh, so thank you very much for watching. That's going to end today's class. And uh, I'll go ahead and I'll see you later, guys. So, thank you all for joining us. Ok.